everyone, we're back. Today is Paulo's birthday. Yay. Yay, yay. Another year older. So we are going to um, try to go get Slutty Vegan, which is um, plant-based. Uh, we've been trying to do more plant-based foods and eating a little bit healthier. We've had it one time, but the line, we waited in line for how long, Paulo? Like an hour. Yeah, we waited in line for like over an hour um, last time. So hopefully this time it'll be a little bit better. And today we actually found a food truck that's not super far away. So we're gonna try that and see if they still have some. Hey everybody, we have our slutty vegan. We finally got back from the food truck. Um, it wasn't a bad process. They were pretty quick. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of people on the, on the food truck. We were lucky enough to uh, to find to one find that truck. was not very far away from us. We yeah. had already planned to go and stand and wait in line, mm -hmm. um, but uh, Paula was lucky enough to find out where they were. So everything worked out perfectly. All right, so I, what did I get? I got the- She got a sloppy toppy. I got a sloppy toppy. Um, if you guys can see the burger, they have pretty decent sized burger. Again, all vegan trying to be a little healthy, but it is a little bit greasy, so it's not completely. Uh, it's not that bad. It's, it's not, not like, that bad. It's not like Five Guys greasy, but it's not It's not that bad. Like, But the bag was a little greasy on yeah, that side. What'd was. you get, Paulo? So I got the one night stand. It has these vegan bur uh, vegan bacon on it, and all these burgers have Impossible burgers on them, so. Yeah, he has yeah. bacon. Mine has jalapenos and some um, cheese, and then yeah. un caramelized onions and some other stuff. Yeah, so this should be good. I'm excited. I haven't had the one night stand because last time when we went, they didn't have it. Yeah, they sell a lot yeah. of stuff really, really quickly, quickly. Yeah. and the lines are crazy long. But um, if you guys don't know, Slutty Vegan is a black owned business in Atlanta um, and it's it's pretty good. Yeah, I love it. All right, All right let's, let's get try. to it. I always have to eat a fry before I eat my burgers. How is it? Good. So how does it feel to be another year older? I don't know, it feels weird. Like when I was driving back, I was thinking about it and I was like, I was like, I feel like I'm 18. Like, like I feel like after like 18, it didn't really matter. Like after the year's just, it's just the same. Well, I feel fortunate, you know, with everything going on, to see to see another year, it's a blessing always. Yeah, it's definitely a blessing, especially with um, everything that has gone on this past year. Um, to be able to celebrate a birthday is a big thing. We celebrated my birthday a few weeks ago, and Paula's birthday is um, almost just a month right after mine. So back-to-back -back birthdays, and again, we haven't really been doing a lot, just staying inside, really just trying to stay safe, um, especially until everybody's vaccinated and whatnot. <clears throat> so it's gonna, it's been a pretty chill birthday. Maybe next year, we said this last year, but maybe next year um, we'll be able to travel or do something a little bit different. Oh no, we travel. Question is where? All right. If you could have gone anywhere today, where would, where would you have gone? Today? Mm-hmm. Like travel, travel. If you could have like gone on a trip, where would you All right. go? With now COVID around? Mm-hmm. I would probably went to, um, I would want to go to Europe. Where in Europe? I know you've always wanted to go to Greece, but my thing is I've always wanted to go to France. This is a little bit spicy. Um, mine does have jalapenos. I think his has just pickles. Yeah, that's fine. It's very, it tastes very smoky. It's nice. It's a nice thing. It's like, you can't even really, to me, I, I can't tell the difference between theirs and like a real burger. Yeah, you really can't. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like black bean burgers or what was the other type of burger that we tried before the black bean one? I don't know. 
I thought it was pretty good. I'm not a fan of like imitation meat, like the Gardein and stuff like that. What is this imitation meat, say? Oh, well, I don't it's know. It's Impossible Whopper. That's Impossible Burger. Like that's true, but some some taste different. I don't know. I like this one. I like the if burger. someone was uh, to put it in front of me with a real burger, I don't think I would be able to tell the difference. And this also has um, a lot of sauce in it too. It's pretty good. I wonder what, make, what they make this uh, fake bacon out of. Paulo said he would go to France. Um, I've always wanted to go to Greece. Like if I if we could have like done a wedding abroad anywhere, I would have just you know gone to Greece, like Santorini, exactly. That's where I really want to go. And eventually we'll get there. Um, we haven't really been able to do any really huge trips, especially because of Paula's med school schedule and then always my work schedule. Um, up until this year, we've had completely opposite schedules. Um, yeah. In the past year or so, it's pretty much leveled out. And of course, now we're both at home, him doing med school, and then me working from home every day. Yeah, it was wild when we first started dating because it was like, <clears throat> I was working night shift ICU, mm -hmm. and I'll come home and she, at that time, was working. I worked like crazy, crazy um, shifts. Um, and then holidays were non-existent. You're not really off if you're working for Christmas or Thanksgiving and stuff like that. So I would work either during the days and then um, he would get off work at 7 a.m. So by the time he was off, I was already at work. Yep. Um, so we would go maybe two, three, four days without seeing each other. Obviously I would know he had been home because something would be <laughs> something would be different or not as clean, but um, we just would not see each other. And we would I just how she said different or not as clean. <laughs> wow. But yeah, no. <clears throat> no, you're really clean, but I'm extremely clean. Like I'm, I guess I take it to a different level. Like I know where everything is to the T. So if someone's like moved something a few inches or picked something up and put it back down, I would know. Um, but yeah, no, it, this year, um, aside from everything else going on, it's been pretty nice to be able to just spend time together, actually spend time together. And it's been what, like seven years almost. Yeah. It is nice to just come out the room, like after setting and just see you there You're like, Hey, but she has like three screens in front of her. So. Yeah, I have usually have a bunch of monitors, and then Paulo's always trying to cook something in the kitchen. I'm like, I'm on a call. I'm on a call. <laughs> yeah, boy, you gotta eat, man. I'm hungry, man. Mess, was... mess will be taking uh, a lot of glucose out of my system. <laughs> How's your food? It's good. It's about to be gone soon. And if you haven't noticed, I am a very slow eater. And Paulo is extremely, an extremely fast eater. <clears throat> this would have been out like three minutes. Mm. Yeah, definitely my fave. One of my go-to vegan faves. I definitely really like it. I would get it again. So the first time we did the actual walk-up store, and then this time we did a food truck and I really don't notice the difference between the food truck and the, the nope. store. The same, same taste. But yeah, everybody wish Polly a happy birthday. Um, pretty low key day, um, but we definitely wanted to come on and share with you and talk a little bit. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday, hey. dear Polly. Happy birthday to you. Okay, what's my wish for the day? Yep. Yay! 
Yay. It's a chocolate. Do you like cake. it? Yes. I wrote on it myself. <laughs> I was wondering who wrote that. 